Shalom, my name is Noam Fadin, and I'm an Israeli storytelling photographer. In September 2016, at the crack of dawn, I captured this unique salt formation. As I approached it, I suddenly realized that I had already documented this same formation only five months earlier, while it was then mostly underwater. Starting from April 2016, I have been documenting the dramatic changes taking place on the Northern Dead Sea. By January 2017, the water level had gone down one meter in 18 centimeters. I was shocked to see with my own eyes how fast the water level in the Dead Sea is shrinking. Currently, it is at its lowest point in recorded history. Twice a month, I go out with the only exploration boat in the Northern Dead Sea. Besides photographing the incredible landscape, I measure the water level. I have always been drawn to this mysterious and magical sea, which is the lowest point on Earth. Having spent the last decade photographing all over the world and working here in Israel as a photojournalist, I am now blessed with the opportunity to focus on documenting this extraordinary location that has been nominated as a World Heritage Site. Walking on these exotic salt beaches, I can't stop thinking that I'm one of the first people ever to set foot on these newfound beaches uncovered only weeks ago. The beaches and formations still surrounded by water are incredible treasures of this extraordinary sea. These salt treasures can be found in many shapes and layer formations. Salt mosaic carpets, salt pearls, salt diamonds, salt stalactite preserved salt caves and salt chimneys. With all this natural beauty and magic comes the tragic part of the story. Once any treasure is no longer covered by the water, it dries out under the sun and eventually crumbles and disappears. In the 20th century, the water level of the Dead Sea went down over 25 meters and today it is 420 meters below sea level. The estimated yearly gap between water coming into the Dead Sea and water going out through evaporation and factories pumping out the water is a staggering 600 million cubic meters of water. That's over one and a half million cubic meters of water vanished every single day. The estimated cost of direct damage comes to $90 million a year. Scientists are saying that by the year 2050, only a little pool of salt will remain. Over the next few years, I will continue to take delegations from Israel and abroad on a unique discovery boat ride, the only one of its kind where we will explore new geological phenomena and measure the water level. Now is the time to think about the next generation and preserve the heritage of the land of Israel for future generations. Yes.